Uh, hello friends, uh, welcome to our channel where we are presenting um, lessons in mathematics. Okay. Okay, so Okay, so in this lesson we are trying to deal with the graphs uh, of these three trig ratios. So I want to see how we can draw these uh, uh, these um, graphs for the three trig ratio. That is the sine ratio, cosine, and the tangent. All right. Uh, take note. In this case, uh, we are going to draw these graphs from the range is here. Zero degrees is less or equal to theta, and this should be less or equal to 360 degrees. All right. This is the range that we are dealing with. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm going to draw. Here you can use your instruments. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I've got that. I hope it is okay. Then um, I can draw the x axis this side. Okay, so going to have uh, for ninety, we have for one eighty, two seventy, and three sixty. Take note the distance here should be the same. Okay, the distance should be this is x, this is y, All right. So this is the negative one, this is the one. Okay, so that's what we are going to have. So <clears throat> the first one that we are going to do is, uh, actually before we even start punching, we indicate the angles 90 degrees, 180 degrees. Here we have 270 degrees and 360 degrees okay so again for for this one let me try to put some lines okay so <coughs> have lines here put the lines Hope you're able to see what we are doing. Okay, so this is what we have. Okay. So, so what you need to do is, uh, because we are dealing with y is equal to sine theta. This is the, for the sine. Okay. So here where there's this theta, you put these angles. The first one is zero. What is sine zero? You get a zero. So how do you do that? You can use your, your phone. I mean your calculator. All right. So here you can say sine zero. Okay. What do you get? Get a zero, which is this one. The next one is sine ninety. Sine ninety degrees. All right. What do you get? One. So here one is somewhere here. All right. If you punch sine one eighteen. You get a, a zero, okay? So you have a zero here. So it's it's like we are, we are plotting here, right? Then the next thing that you need to punch is sine two seventy. What do you get? It's a negative. So you are here. You come to negative. Then you you go to sine. Okay. So you have zero here. So take note of the dots that we have created. One, two, three, four, five dots. Okay, so we are going to draw a curve passing through these um, uh, five points. Okay, so it has to be drawn nicely. Yeah, so this is the <coughs> the the graph. So you can see that um, 
with a sine graph, it oscillates between negative 1 to positive 1, right? Between negative 1 to positive 1. What that means is that the sine graph has got an amplitude. An amplitude, right? Of 1, right? So, from this point, that point is 1. From this point, that point, it is negative 0. Again, we see that the, this sine graph is above the x-axis from 0 to 180 degrees. Why? Because between 0 and 180 degrees, this represents the first and the second quadrant. And we said first and second quadrant sign is positive. Okay? Between 180 and 360, this is the third and fourth quadrant. And we said uh, in the third and fourth quadrant sign is what? Negative. Alright? So again, we see uh, something here. Um, what is it that we are able to observe? That a sign graph has a period of 360 degrees. Okay? Has a period of 360 degrees. So this is how you are going to draw the, the graph of a sign. The graph of a sign. I hope that is okay. Okay, now we can deal with the cosine. Okay? Okay, so let's deal with the, the graph for, 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 for cosine. Okay, so this is what we are going to have. And we are going to say y is equal to cos theta. Remember we said uh, in this case our range that we are dealing with is 0 to 360 degrees. So that's what we are going to be used here. Okay, so the procedure is the same. Okay, you draw a line. Okay, so we draw that. So the first angle here is 0 degrees. Then we have 90 degrees here. 180 degrees here 270 degrees there 360 degrees okay this is x this is the y so start from negative one to what one so the procedure is the same so when you look at sine zero sine zero will give you a one okay maybe let me just show you we have sine I mean so cos we're dealing with cos now Cos is 0 is a 1, right? So meaning that uh, here, 0, 1. So you put a point here. The next one is cos 90. So you're going to say cos 90 degrees. You get a 0, okay? You get a 0. So you put a 0 here. The next one is cos 180. Cos 180. What do you get? You get a negative one okay so you get a negative one but i think before we we draw see better we draw these lines that to just see help us to draw a nice case okay put some dotted lines here but even without these lines it's still very okay Okay, so can do those dotted lines. Okay, so we are saying cos 180, you got negative 1, so there will be negative 1 somewhere here. Then you can say cos, uh, cos 270, you have 0, so talk about 0, that is the, the point. Then you also have cos 360. Cos 360, what do we get? 1. Okay? And where is our 1? Our 1 is here. So let's say, take note of the points that we have created. You have this point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? Then we are going to draw a graph there. Alright? So. Graph should uh, should come like that all the way. So this is the the graph for a, a cosine. Okay, and um, can label this 
as Swiss okay as y is equal to cos theta okay okay so we are saying y is equal to cos theta so this is the the graph again we observe that with the cosine it oscillates from negative one to positive one hence the amplitude the amplitude again for this one is z uh, so we are saying amplitude is a one and the period is 360 degrees okay so that's what we are talking about here so that basically that's how you draw this i hope that is okay all right we deal with the last one which is the tangent so we deal with the tangent now as you can see that deliberately these lines here all right for a tangent you can see that um, they are longer than the, for the cosine and sine that is for obvious reasons and even these dotted lines as you can see uh, with the, the sine and the cosine they were horizontal but these are what are vertical the reason is simple um, when you are dealing with the, a turn, the graphs usually move from here going upwards like that. All right? So, the process of getting these things is the same. All right? Though you may not manage to generate or to punch all the digits here. Right? You can just do one or two, then pick the pattern. For example, if we are dealing with turn, turn zero, what do you get? You get a zero, all right? Get a zero here. So you have a zero here. Okay. How about the turn 90? You can say turn. Turn 90. Okay. What do you get? As you can see, it's saying math error. Meaning that at this point, at this point, 90 degrees, the turn does not know this degree all right or 90 degrees is not defined according to turn or by turn all right it is undefined at this point so it is undefined at 90 degrees but when you check um, uh, turn uh, 180 all right try to check turn 180 degrees you get a zero so at this point it is defined take note here it is defined there it is defined. Here it is undefined. How about 270? So when you say turn, 270 degrees, what do we get? Again, here it is undefined. Here it is unknown. All right? How about 360? You say turn, turn, 360 degrees. It's a zero. So at this point, it is defined. So we realize that the turn... A function or turn ratio is undefined at 90 degrees and e and 360. All right, so you have 90 undefined. This is defined, 90 undefined. This is defined, 270 undefined. This is defined, meaning that the next uh, uh, degree there, all right, the next degree here, you say three, we have 360 here. This is uh, defined. The next one, if you add another 90 here, what do you get? You have 4, 4, 450. So if you say turn 450, it will tell you that it is undefined. So we move in that, in that pattern 90, after 90, defined, after 90, undefined. So you have here, at 180, defined. Another 180, defined. Another 180, just like that. So take note. So now, how do we draw the graph? So, we know that this is zero. So the graph will, will, will keep on coming like this. Now, because this is un, undefined, it will curve upwards because 90 is not known. All right? So you can say, how about it? turn maybe 30? It will be defined. It will be about 0 0.5. It will be somewhere maybe here. All right? So as, you, as the values of x increase, 
as the degrees increase here, the, the graph will be rising. But now, it will keep on rising, rising up to just before you, you meet 90 degrees. At 90, it will curve because it is undefined. Alright? So you might have this kind of an arrangement. You have this kind of an arrangement. Okay, at that point to be undefined. Alright? So even here, you have this kind of an arrangement. From here it will be defined, but they are undefined. It will not be defined. So it will cave away from that. Okay? So it will come here to be increasing, but as you go closer to 270, it will cave away because it is undefined. So I hope you are, you are seeing the pattern. Alright? So even if you keep on punching, this is the, the, the arrangement. Alright? Meaning that again from here, from 270, it will to come, 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 come. Because we are, it has undefined at that point, so it will, it will come, 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 but try to cave away from the graph. Why? Because it is undefined. So this is the kind of a graph that we are likely to have. Okay? So when you graph it, I can't have that. Can't have that. That's what you are going to have. At this point and this point, the tangent is undefined. Alright? So we say the tangent graph has got an asymptote. Alright? It has an asymptote. Asymptote. Asymptote at 90 degrees and uh, 270 degrees. Meaning that at these two degrees, the, the tangent graph is e undefined, or the tangent is e undefined. All right? Okay, so this one, you have to make sure that it caves nicely. Okay, like that. So that's how you are going to draw this thing. All right? Of course, here you take a lot of values, unless you are to plot on a graph paper. You take a lot of values, there will be more than five here. Because if you are to take, um, for example, tan, tan, maybe 80, all right? What do you get? It is more than five. So it will go somewhere there. That's why we are, we are just now trying to approximate. But that's how the graph uh, of who a tangent is supposed to be drawn. Okay, that is how it's supposed to be drawn. I hope that is clear. Okay, so that's how I draw these things. Thank you so much.